today the ID built-in function in Python 3. So let's start with a look at the docs. Basically, the ID returns the address of the object in memory. In other words, the location of the object in memory. So when we pass an object to ID, such as a string, what we get back is an integer that represents the location in memory of this string. And every uh, object we pass is going to have a different value in memory. And if we run it again, we're going to get that same integer for immutable objects because it represents the same place in memory. So as long as we don't close the shell and we run it again, uh, we're going to get that same location in memory, you see? Now we're going to take this a step further and we're going to assign uh, two different variables with the same value. And we know that a equals b. And if we do, if we look at the id of a and the id of b, they're going to be the exact same, which means that both of these values are pointing to the same place in memory. And if we did the same thing with the string, like say we did hey and d also equals hey. Um, then when we check the ID, we're going to see that with strings as well, it's pointing, both of these, uh, both C and D are pointing to the same location in memory. Now, I want to note that this type of caching will only work with immutable objects, right? And a string is immutable, an integer is immutable, and that's why uh, we have these things pointing to the same place. But what if we look at something that's not immutable? So uh, we create a list of one, two, three, and we create another list of one, two, three, right? A equals B, that's fair. But if we check the ID uh, of these variables, we're going to see that they have different IDs, meaning they're pointing to different places in memory. Why is that? Again, a list is not immutable. A list is, it is mutable. So the caching is not going to work. So what's another mutable value we could try? Uh, we could do a dictionary with a value of one equals, hey, <laughs> have that be our, our little dictionary. And we'll be, we'll do the exact same thing. And I think you guys already know what's going to happen. Uh, when we check the IDs, they're going to be different. And that's because, again, a dictionary is mutable, and we're only caching immutable objects. Now, I do want to note that with these simple examples like A equals 5, B equals 5, and then we check that, um, yes, these are pointing to the same places in memory. You know, we, uh, we have the same ID here, but it does get a little bit uh, tricky and and I don't even know what the difference is to be honest someone can comment if if they can so if you did a equals one two three four and then B equals one two three four and then we ran that same thing again these are gonna point to different places now I don't really know what the difference is between this uh, single digit and this uh, four digit number and why it's different so I guess all I can say is uh, keep an eye out. <laughs>